How's it going, Cam? Um, Tennessee's tempo. We've heard a couple of players in here talk about that. How do you go about preparing for a team that snaps the ball that quickly in practice? Kind of what goes into the prep for for, for Tennessee's offense? Um, just making a lot of things like simpler. Just having like a call to go to if we don't have to call in and stuff like that. Just making sure that the little things are taken care of, care of, like getting our cleats in the dirt and just playing. Cam, what have you seen from Tennessee's receiver groups, especially a guy like Jalen Hyatt, who can make big plays pretty much any time he touches the ball? Um, just a lot of a lot of space and a lot of motions, a lot of speed. Just really, uh, just really, just got to game tackle and make sure that once they, if they do catch the ball, like it's not no yak after the play. Hey Cam, going back to Jalen. I mean, do you, as a you know, a All American defensive back, do you get up for a matchup like that going against arguably the best wide receiver in the country? Oh, uh, definitely. Um, yeah, I always bring some excitement when you got a dude like, on the other side and stuff like that. But I mean, you come in, you prepare the same way with everybody. You don't take it and take no no body for granted, really. Uh, are, are you planning planning for Saturday to be your last game at Willie B, or is that decision still in uh, the Yeah, come? more than likely, yes, sir. Yeah. What when when you look back on on your your time here, what 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 are some of your favorite memories of playing in that stadium? Uh, really. I mean, probably everybody's worst memory probably might be my favorite memory. You know, the little, little ball against them, last, uh, not last year, COVID year, they hit my leg. So I feel like that was really the turning point in my career. So I feel like I built off of that situation, built off all that adversity, and now I'm here who I am now. Cam, kind of to that with it, you know, probably being your last game at, at Williams Rice, what is that, you know, what has the last couple of years meant to you? What's it been like? And, and I guess when we have maybe time to reflect on, on your career here a little bit as well? I mean, just like, just coming in as a freshman, like all the older dudes telling you, like you go by fast and all that stuff. Like you don't really think about it because you're going day to day. You think about the next workout, all this stuff. Da -da -da. But and, like to see it come full fold and like, I'm coming to the end of my career here. It's just crazy. And like, I just made so many friends, so many brothers, like just through the whole process, it's just crazy. Um, you're now in your what, second season of parenting while you're doing football. So just how has having your daughter affected your career here, your experience? And, you know, how do you, you manage, you know, parenting with, you know, trying to take those next steps in your career? Um, really, um, it's not as hard as, like, I don't know how other people would have it and stuff like that. But just having my mom and my people's close, like my grandparents and all that stuff close. So, like, I could have her like and then I have to have to go to a meeting I can have somebody go get her like stuff like that I don't have to like be trying to do this and that and be two places at one time stuff like that so it's it's really it's really good with the support system Cam you mentioned that ball off your leg against Tennessee being the turning point how weird is it to kind of come full circle to where you're most likely your final game of Williams Bryce is against that team the chance to potentially have a, a, a good game against that offense I mean yeah I mean I feel like I didn't that that game I didn't play to my potential, I didn't play well for real. Um, so it's just gonna be like a turning point. Just really, I didn't get to play them last year, so it's just really just getting me finally getting my statement against them. Cam, when you look at Jalen Hyde, what's more challenging, um, preventing him from taking a short pass and going all the way, or worrying about him blowing by you and getting deep? Uh, I'd rather uh, the short pass going for for a long a long way, just not trying to give up any yak and stuff like that. I mean, you're going you to have like those opportunities where it's one-on-ones, me and him down the field, like stuff like that. But it's got to be a perfect ball. So I feel like my odds is better over the top than on the knee. I would imagine that in, in the immediate aftermath of that moment, that ball going off your foot, that wasn't your favorite play. When, when, did, when, when did you kind of realize that that was a, a turning point for you and, and to kind of embrace that ad adversity? Was it, how, how long did it take you to realize that you can make something good out of that? Um, really, I mean, I wouldn't have said it like any, like to anybody or anything like that, but like, I feel like, like right at, all of the leading, like the leading up effects to it and then like the aftermath and stuff like that, the things I heard from people, the things that like people said to me, stuff like that, like just all of those things, I feel like right after like, all of that just came and was still in me. Every comment that was sent to my Instagram, all of that stuff, I screenshot, I still remember all of them to this day. Like, so it just really fuels me. Negative comments, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, Cam, since this is probably going to be your last home game, will it be? Have you reached out to any of the former Gamecock defense backs that are in the NFL right now, like J.C. Horn, Stephon Gilmore, any of those guys that have played here, you know, just to get a feel of what those emotions are like and, you know, maybe getting ready to move on to the next stage of your football career? Uh, I haven't really talked to them about that. I mean, just talk about really ball all the time. Really, that's really all we really talk about, stuff like that, how we doing and stuff, just little critiques to our game and stuff, something, something that we've seen each other do or something like that that we want to work on or we got to get better at.